Hong Kong government awarded free to air license to two media companies, Fantastic Television and Hong Kong Television Entertainment Company, but denied it to Hong Kong Television Network. After hearing the government's decision, the owner of Hong Kong Television Network, Ricky Wong, announced that his 320 staffs were losing their jobs by the end of the month. This urged the staffs to organize protests against the government. The disappointed staffs then found Facebook an effective means to call people to support them. Within a few days, their Facebook page attracted around 500,000 likes. The supporters spontaneously took into the street, chanting slogans against the government's decision. The protest was not just focused on government's denial of license to Hong Kong Television Network, but the protesters also accused the government of not being transparent and hijacking the core democratic values of the city. We don't like uh, the manipulation of the black box uh, exercise which was done by the administrative bureau and so you know, they, do, they have to lose it, always change the rules. As uh, common people in Hong Kong, you see that if, uh, if uh, we apply anything later in Hong Kong, we can foresee that. The system is not transparent <laughs> and also uh, the government uh, is not opposed by us and because of the Chinese government. The protesters continued demonstrating in front of government's headquarters in Admiralty for a week. The government came up with a six-page long document, stating that the reason for not granting license to Ricky Wong's television was the fears over potential collapse of the free-to-air market. Hey,